Peace and power to the tribe. Peace and power to the nation, man. We still here, man. We still here, man. I love y'all, man. Look at me, man. Look at me, man. I love y'all. Much a high, man. Much a high, because you are manifesting reality, and I'm, I'm with you. I'm with you walking through this door in reality, man. We digging on it. We just going to go ahead and vibrate on in to our Shabbat. Take that cutoff day. Get that food. Get that nourishment. Vibrate above the barrier. Hijack free. Cut it off, man. You got to cut it off once a week, man, just to get that charge up, man. So charge up with me. I'm going to charge up with you, man. We in the book. The Sefa. The Sefa. Uh, the Prophet. Sefa Na Hawa'u. Sefa Na Hawa'u. Also called Zephaniah. Man, this is only three uh, chapters, so we're going to get this, get a little bit of the Sefer of Haggai, the prophet, man. So, a lot of, you know, these are, a lot of these, uh, you know, works, a lot of these writings, man, they call them, they call them secret writings, you know, secret books. But we're going to use it to get the dropout, to tie it together like we do all the beautiful flow and water that we got coming, man. So, a hop to you, from my family to yours, you are my family, there is no separation, let's get it. Word of Hawa. Hawa, Hawa, Israel, Hawa, 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 Hawa. The word of Hawa which came unto Zephaniah Hawau, the son of Cushai, Cushai. The son of Gedaliah, the son of Amariah, the son of Yakik, Yakik Yahu, Isaac, in the days of Yoshiyahu, Yoshiyahu, the son of Amon, king of Hawauda. Man, we're getting in this supper, man. It's a lot of, you know what I mean? You get a lot of babies when you start, you know, speaking that frequency again, man. So, you know, we practice it, man. I will utterly consume all things from off the land. So you look at the Grand Canyon, the Grand Canyon, you look at these so-called ruins, Howie Ku, New Mexico, we got our commandments and Paleo and Picto, and you look around and what do you see? I will consume man and beast. I will consume the fowls of the heavens. So I will utterly consume all things from off the land. What land? What land? You have to go to your lands and see them desolate to know that your mother is mourning for the cut off you know status you're in a status of being cut off now you're in a status of being regained reassembled gathered that's your status it's an energy i'm talking frequency and vibration Love to everyone digging on the double slit, man. It's all about what we observe, right? Observation is key. What are we witnessing? You are the witness. When you witness the wave, when you witness it, you collapse that wave into a single particle. You create a certain reality. Yet, without you being witnessing anything it's still rocking and all the probabilities letting you know that in reality every bit every point is yours every probability is yours but what are you going to witness what are you going to consciously manifest slavery or freedom slavery or freedom what are we talking about i will consume man and beast will consume the fowls of the heavens and the fish of the sea and the stumbling blocks with the wicked i will cut off the man from off the land says hawa i will also stretch out my hand upon hawauda and upon all the inhabitants of Yerushalayim. i will cut off the remnant of baal from this place what are we talking about what was here what was going on here I will cut off the remnant of Baal from this place and the name of Kemarim with the priest and them that worship the host of the heavens upon the housetops. Them that worship, them that worship the host of heavens upon the housetops. So they were on top of their house worshiping the what? The celestial. You're in a celestial spell, a celestial hijack. 
and then that worship and swear by Hawa, and that swear by Mal Malcolm, and them that turn back from Hawa, and those that have sought have not sought Hawa, nor inquired for him. You haven't inquired for your secure breath. You're in a state of mourning. Your mother's in mourning. You haven't even inquired about your security, your breath. You're busy debating and talking all everything else, but the breath, you're not even thinking about, is that air you're breathing? What is, what is the breath? What is water? What's water? What's water? H2O, what's, <laughs> what's water? What's an element? What is an atom? If it's 99% empty space, 99.999% empty space, then it's all about what you observe and what you're conscious of is the wave you're swimming in and have you inquired about the security of your breath your frame and your shape or that which molds you and frames you energy frequency vibration so hold your peace at the presence of Hawa for the day of Hawa is at hand for Hawa has prepared a sacrifice he has bid his guests and it shall come to pass in the day of Hawa's sacrifice. What's about to crack? What's all this interference we talking about? What's all this, you know what I'm saying, unsureness? This, this, you know, suddenly no one's sure of anything when it comes to energy, frequency, and vibration. Because they don't know you. If they don't know you, they don't know energy. If they don't know energy, they don't know you. You are energy. You are it. They're saying, you know what I'm saying, confusion about who you are. So-called Negro is the same confusion they have about energy. It's the same abstract, you know what I'm saying, uh, you know, position that they are always forming as an abstract trying to figure out the concrete. It's the same lane they travel every single time to try to figure out what's concrete. What's the God particle? Who's the Negro? What's the God particle? Who's the Negro? So, Hawa has prepared a sacrifice, he has bid his guest, and it shall come to pass in the day of Hawa's sacrifice that I will punish the princes and the king's children, and all such as are clothed with strange apparel. In the same day also I will punish all those that leap on the threshold and fill their master's houses with violence and deceit. So all these strangers, all these hijacks, it's just the way the cookie crumbles. It's just the way the energy, you know, swings back around. You don't get to hijack a land. You don't get to hijack a people forever. What game are you playing? And then move on. And then we're all just one. I think our ancestors will roll over in their graves or in their in their energy portals, you know what I'm saying? They will roll over and and just utter disappointment if we disregarded the sacrifice. Right? Remember Christ's sacrifice, right? But forget your ancestors' sacrifice. You see how they flip you. They get you in another mode, a hijack, an illusion. Remember this Christ sacrifice. You were Christ. You are Christ. You are the Mashiach. You are the anointed. You as a seed are connected energetically and you have been sacrificed. And you remember the sacrifice of your ancestors because by observing it, you affect it. There is no past, there is no future, it's all the same. So by observing the law of your creator, the vibration of your creator, you are affecting your ancestors right now in the, in the deepest way. They're coming back because you're coming back. The trees are coming back because you're coming back. They call them earthquakes are happening. It's the root canal. Clothes and strange apparel. So when they came over here, obviously they were clothed in strange apparel. All right. In the same day also will I punish all those that leap on the threshold which fill their master's house, houses with violence and deceit. And it shall come to pass in that day, says Hawa, that there shall be a noise of a cry from the fish gate, and a howling from the second, and a great crashing from the hills. How, ye inhabitants of Makdesh, for all the merchant people are cut down, and they that bear silver are cut off. And it shall come 
to pass at that time that I will search Yerushalayim with candles and punish the men that are settled on their on their leaves. They say in their heart, Hawa will not do good, neither will he do evil. Therefore their good shall become a booty, and their houses a desolation. They shall also build houses, but not inhabit them. So you build, they inhabit. You build, they inhabit. And they shall plant vineyards and not drink. The wine thereof, the great day of Hawaii is near. It is near. It is near. You feel it? You feel it in your in, in your in your in your sinew, in your ruach, in your heart bone, you feel it? Do you feel it in your electromagnetic field? Do you feel it? Do you feel the redemption? The redemption? The redemption? Or is it just about bills and sadness and hijacks and this person don't like me and this person do like me and this person don't get it and are you just complaining all damn day? You think that's going to change your situation? Having that countenance? every damn day golly we all got to lift each other up man we got to be responsible to do everything we can to build the frequency of our family and, and raise it up man all right don't don't be in the frequency of a cycle and a loop of complaining and sadness and distraught and all this is happening to me you switch it up and observe something differently and a different reality a higher vibration you observe a higher vibration you observe a reality. You collapse the wave and form that particle of redemption and rejoicing in your life because you have the power to do it because everything is vibrating around you. So choose up. And we as together are the wall of protection. We choose up. We vibrate up and we tribe bro. We tribe up and vibe up, man. <laughs> vibe up, tribe up, man. That's the next shirt, man. Vibe up, tribe up. Drop Nation. Let's go. So you're going to plant the vineyards but not drink the wine. The great day of Hawa is near. It is near and hastens greatly. Even the voice of Hawa, the mighty man, shall cry there bitterly. The day is a day of wrath, a day of trouble and distress, a day of wasteness and desolation, a day of darkness and gloominess, a day of clouds and thick darkness, a day of shofar, of the shofar, the shofar and alarm. Do you hear the sound of the shofar? Do you hear the sound of the alarm? Sound the alarm, pound the alarm. I mean, eventually, man, you're just gonna get your walking stick, man. And just journey out, man. You're gonna find your own, you're gonna find your own walking stick. You're gonna find your own staff, man. You got a staff waiting for you, man. You just gotta journey and find it. And once you find it, that staff's gonna be ready to take you wherever you gotta go, man. It ain't got nothing to do with these cities. It got something to do with your treasured cities, not the hijacked cities. Sound the alarm against the fenced cities and against the high towers, and I will bring distress upon men that they shall walk like blind men because they have sinned or transgressed the vibration of Hawa, and their blood shall be poured out as dust and their flesh as the dung, neither their silver nor their gold shall be able to deliver them in the day of Hawa's wrath. And they know it, man. But the whole land shall be devoured by the fire of his jealousy, for he shall make even a speedy riddance of all of them that dwell in the land, man. Good riddance, good riddance. Gather yourself, we're in chapter two. We're in chapter two. We're in chapter two. Let's get it. So gather yourselves. What do we do? Hawa, hawa. What do we do? What's the sim what's the simplicity? What's the simple path? What's the connection? What's the next connection for us? Gather yourselves. Nah, man. Just just fall back. Somebody else is gonna gather you, man. It's all good. Fall back, man. JC is coming. He, he he's gonna gather you. Most High never had you be stagnant. You you was always moving. You was always moving water. You was always migrating to the right spot, to the right place at the right time. Because the earth has always been your turf. Now you're stagnant. Now you're stuck in one place. 
You don't know how to gather yourselves. That's a foreign concept to you now, right? You've been gathering yourselves for thousands of years. And now in 2017, that sounds like some avatar mythology shit. What? Gather and walk? Walk with my brothers? As a tribe? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? It sounds crazy, drop. Gather yourselves. Gather yourselves. Look at your brothers and your sisters around you in real time, in real life. Vibe up, tribe up, because your tribal reality is the only reality. These people function as tribes on you while you sleep amalgamating into them. They're tribal. Tribal is real. But when you talk tribal, it's oh shit. When you talk tribal, it's oh no, boss. Oh no. <laughs> it's coming from everywhere, boss. All right, man. Love y'all, man. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it, man. Tribe up. Love to y'all, man. Drop Nation. You got the drop, man. You got the water. You already got it. You ain't got to watch no videos to have the drop. You got the drop. You ain't got to read no books to have the drop. You got the drop. It's just a reminder. We're just getting reminded right quick. And a day of the shofar. All right, man. So gather yourselves together. Yay, gather together. O nation not desired. Who's the nation not desired? Well, whoever that is, so-called Negro, your creator is saying, gather yourselves, O nation, not desired. No one wants you, right? No one wants you, right? But they want everything from you, right? So gather yourselves, yea, gather yourselves, O nation. You, you, you not desired, you know, uh, uh, put down, forgotten about, ignored people people that have fallen into ignorance, false gods and idols, worshiping the celestials. You leave Christianity, you leave Islam to go worship the same celestial gods. And you never get above the barrier. You fall into one black hole after another. Now I'm black, now I'm a more, now I'm a this, now I'm a whatever adjective. But are you a Moabite? Either you are or you're not. Are you the seed of Moab? Are you the seed of Ammon? Are you the seed of Amalek or Jebusite or, or, or a Philistine? What, what tribe are you, man? That's a relevant freaking question because that's your vibration. You are what you are. You're an apple seed. You're an apple tree. Apples and oranges. That's not racism. That's not. That's common sense reality survival tribal because when they roll up on you, and if you're not survival tribal, then they take your tribe shit. Now they're survival tribal because they say that we are now able to survive. We have peace because we've squandered you. We have peace because we cut you off. So their peace means that you're cut off. Your peace, your shalom, your shalom means that you're devouring the authority of their chaos, that they're bringing chaos to you. So you don't get shalom, you don't get shalom, you don't get peace until you devour chaos. Spiritually, mentally, physically, you're only here to devour chaos. That's your only objective. What else are you here to do? Amalgamate? Just be one with whatever? Worship the celestial? Be indifferent to drop? Be indifferent to the truth? Let's go. Choose up. Make your highest choice. Your next move, your best move, make your highest choice. Everybody's watching you. There is no, you know, privacy, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This is all an open thing because you're connected to everything already. There is no separation, man. So there is no privacy. That All that shit is an illusion. You're connected to all of your tribe, all of your people. It is the, it's the real thing, you know what I mean? So you need to choose up and make your next move for the whole because that's the only reality. That's the only reality. So bring yourselves together, gather yourselves before the decree bring forth, before the day pass as the chaff, before the fierce anger of Hawa come upon you, before the day of Hawa's anger come upon you, seek you, Hawa, all you meek of the earth which have wrought his judgment, seek righteousness, <laughs> seek meekness, it may be, you shall be hid in the day of Hawa's anger, Hawa's gonna hide you, where? In the mountain, in the high mountains, go ye to the mountains.
go with yourself, gather yourself to the night. Now you bring it all together. For Gaza shall be forsaken, and Ashkelon, a, de a desolation, they shall drive out. Ashtad, at the noonday, Ekron shall be rooted up. Woe unto the inhabitants of the sea coast, the nation of Carathim, the word of Hawaz against you, O Canaan, Canaan, the land of Palestine. I will even destroy you. You don't think it's tribal? You don't think your creator's tribal? He's calling out tribes and you say, I don't care. Your creator calls out tribes and you say, I don't care. O Canaan, the land of Palestine, I will even destroy you. That there shall be no inhabitant. And the sea coast shall be dwellings and cottages for shepherds and folds for flocks. And the coast shall be the remnant for the remnant of the house of Judah, Yahudah, Hawauda. They shall be there upon the houses of Ashkelon. Shall they lie down in the evening for Hawa shall visit them and turn away their captivity. Who's the nation in captivity? Who's the prisoners of war? Dumb diverses, 1452, copper color races found here, 1828, 28. We'll have the dictionary. Who's the copper color races found here put in captivity? The Saracens, Sarah's sons. Saracens is Sarah's sons. Who's Sarah? Abraham, Sarah, huh? Or Sarah Callie, like uh, Horace Butler broke down Sarah Callie, which he was calling the daughter of the messiah or the daughter of what they were calling christ but joshua also has a daughter right i mean could joshua have a daughter named sarah who they're also calling sarah cali the black sarah the black that's the black madonna the pope got up right now so joshua sarah i mean look dig on it man sarah's sons saracen sarah's sons saracens Put the Saracens in captivity. Sarah's sons. Let's get it. I have heard of the reproach of Moab. I've heard of the of the jam up hijack of Moab. I've heard of what they've done to you. I've heard of the reproach. Who's Moab? What tribe are you? And what do you have against my creator and my land? Who's hijacked you into a slave vibration? And if you come from Mars, then get your ass back to Mars and know that the earth is my turf because I was created here. I have heard of the reproach of Moab and the revelings of the children of Ammon, whereby they have reproached my people and magnified themselves against their border. Therefore, as I live, says Hawa, the Elohim of Israel. Surely Moab shall be a Saddam, Saddam, as Saddam. Saddam and Gomorrah, right? And the children of Ammon as Amora, and even the breeding of nettles and salt pits and the perpetual desolation, the remnant of my people shall spoil them. You don't think your creator's tribal? You don't think there's no get back for these treaties? My people, the remnant, the seed of my people shall spoil them. And possess them. This shall be, and they shall have for their pride. And they shall have for their pride. So right now you got no pride. Right now. Tell your people that they're the seed of the creator. They got no pride in that. They say, man, everybody's this, da, 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 whatever, who cares? And I mean, it's very clear who we're talking about. This shall they have for a pride. It's time to get pride in who you are. Because they have reproached and magnified themselves against the people of Hawa. Hawa will be terrible unto them, for he will famish all the Elohim of the earth, all their false fake entities of the celestial. All their celestial hijack shall be famished, the Elohim of the earth, and the men, and men shall worship him, everyone from his place, and even as the owls, even all the owls of the heathen.
So everyone's going to eventually choose up when they see how real this is. And these are the folks that you as a nation, you know, look, every kingdom has servants. Every kingdom of all time has, you watched every movie of a kingdom, there's always been servants. Now, in their dimension of servitude, these people go crazy. These people are wicked. So they crush their servants. They whip and beat and strangle and, and rape. That's what they, that's how they treat their servants, us. When someone came in servitude, it was a blessing from the creator, okay? It wasn't forever, you know what I'm saying? It was like, all right, you're gonna work off your debt, whatever the case is, you know what I'm saying? We don't we don't put our brothers in that. And you're talking about, you know what I'm saying, those that have, you know, been a reproach unto you as a nation, and they're now serving out their judgment. That's what it is. They're serving their judgment. You've been judged. Everyone has seen you as a nation be judged. So you look at, oh, well, we'll possess them. Uh, the remnant of my people shall possess them. Yeah, man, that's their judgment. And they better be damned. They better be so grateful for that judgment because it could be much worse. The creator, <laughs> trust me, has another plan for those that he doesn't want to serve in the kingdom. They won't be servants. They won't have an opportunity to serve the Creator and to serve His people in their kingdom. Those people are going to beg to be servants. So it is a blessing to choose up. I would rather be a servant in the kingdom of the Creator. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And then you gotta serve. What are you gonna serve? You got a house, you serve your house. As a man, I serve my wife, I serve my children. You know what I'm saying? I'm constantly uh, changing diapers, all right? I rub Chef Candy's feet, you know? I light a candle, you know, you know what I'm talking about. I make it right. You serve your brothers, you serve your brothers. So your servants, we're, we're, that's what we do. We put the community first, we serve our community. You thought we just bought land as a reference, as, as a refuge just to, you know, <laughs> play and put a Disneyland park, man? Like, that's to serve our community to the best of our ability. We did that not to come up. We're not gonna flip it. We're not getting no money out of it. We're just building a community, man. You know what I'm saying? And that's just what it is, you know what I mean? And we're trying to inspire those to do the same thing and serve our community. So we're servants. You think you're gonna come in our kingdom and not be servants? We are, we're servants. So yes, it's order. It's the nine, it's the tree. You don't boast yourself above the root of the tree to grab yourself into the tree. You don't boast yourself above the root of the tree to graft yourself into the tree. <laughs> if you're going to get any drop out that new test in Romans chapter 9 and 10 and 11, then you get that drop. That you don't come in, try to boast yourself above the natural branches and the natural root. The natural root will never be extinguished. The Most High will always remember the remnant. Why? Because the remnant of my people shall possess them. The remnant of my people shall spoil them. That's their judgment, let them serve it. And they're gonna be grateful for that. They'll be grateful to serve you forever. I mean, they're grateful to have you serve them. They're grateful to have you serve them. That's their judgment, that's their blessing. Not even their judgment, that's a blessing. To serve the creator's people, to serve the sequence, to serve the image. And if you don't see it that way, there's another option for you. <laughs> oh, there's, there's many more options. But this is the frequency and this is the truth. You know what I'm saying? The truth ain't supposed to be cozy. You, you've been creating your illusion this whole time. The truth ain't supposed to be cozy for you. But we're cozy. We're getting cozy because it hasn't been cozy for us, right? So it's getting flipped. It hasn't been cozy when you sprayed us with, with the fire hoses and, and cut us to pieces and put us in frying pans just to make us eat swine. That wasn't too cozy for us when you turned our mothers upside down and poured vinegar inside of them until the acid just ate them away upside down in trees and you just thinking about Jesus Christ Zeus and a sacrifice and you forgot about your mother hanging from a tree upside down that's sacrifice, that's crucifixion you've been sacrificed, you've been crucified so it's only right for you to be cozy it's only right for you to feel this it's only right for you to connect and redeem yourselves, free your conscious mind, connect back with your earth, with your creator, 
remember your covenant. Your creator will remember the covenant with Abraham, Jacob, and Isaac forever. David forever. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah, man. Cush, Cushim also. You shall be slain by my sword. And he will stretch out his hand against the north and destroy Ashur. And will make Nineveh a desolation and dry like a wilderness. And the flock shall lie down in the midst of her and all the beasts of the nations, both the Comorant and the bitter shall lodge in the upper lentils of it. Their voice shall sing in the windows. Desolation shall be in the thresholds, for he shall, un he shall uncover the cedar work. Oh, man. The Most High will uncover the cedar work. They hijacked your trees, right? This is the rejoicing city that dwelt carelessly that said in her heart i am and there is none beside me <laughs> celestial hijack 101 right how is she become a desolation a place for beasts to lie down in everyone that passes by her hiss and wag his hand woe to earth her that is filthy and polluted to the oppressing city she obeyed not the voice she received not correction she trusted not in hawa she received not correction. She trusted not in Hawa. Secure breath. She drew not near to Hawa. Her princes within her are roaring lions. Her judges are evening wolves. They gnaw not at the bone to the marrow. Her prophets are light and treacherous persons. Her priests have polluted the sanctuary. They have done violence to the Torah. The just Hawa is in the midst thereof. He will not do inequity. Every morning he brings his judgment to light. He fails not, but the unjust knows no shame. I have cut off the nation. Their towers are desolate. I have cut off the nation. The towers are desolate. Their high place is gone. And you still wake up today and go back to that? What is it proving? Where's your buildings, your pyramids? Where's your fancy technology? Oh, the high sciences, the high sciences. Where is it, man? Oh, is this, it's just for the mystery school? It's just for the initiated? No, it's for the people. All knowledge is for the people. All wisdom is for the people. It is our mother, it is our father, it is our divine right on our divine land. And you don't come over here in boats and put us in Admiralty Sea Law into an illusion in foreign vessels parked in dry dock give us documents, and then say we're yours forever, perpetually. Nigga, what? We ain't in Hijack City. Yeah, man. We didn't land on Plymouth Rock. Plymouth Rock landed on the so-called Negro because King James signed the Plymouth Company and the London Company to patent two patents to colonize you in 1603 and 1606. The Plymouth Company, man. The Plymouth Company came over here from London with longitude and latitude, with treaties <laughs> to colonize the so-called Negro, the Plymouth Company and the London Company that owned the corporation of the United States of America. That's the second world. You're the first world. You know what the third world country looks like, but you're the first world. You're the reality. You're the natural. Natural by law. Love to the bread. Love to the tribe. Shabbat Shalom. Get it, man. Their towers are desolate. I made them, I made their streets waste, that none passes by. Their cities are destroyed so that there is no man, that there is none inhabitant. I said, surely you will fear me. You will receive instruction so that their dwelling shall not be cut off, how, howsoever I punished them. But they rose early and corrupted all their doings. Therefore, wait ye upon me, says Hawah, until the day that I rise up to the prey. For my determination is to gather the nations, that I may assemble the kingdoms. Assemble the kingdoms. Assemble the kingdoms. What did they do? Papa Boo, dumb diverses. Invade, search out the kingdoms. Steal their kingdoms, their principalities, their dukedoms. I 
may assemble the nations to pour upon them my indignation. That I may assemble the kingdom. So Humpty Dumpty got to get put back together again. The kingdoms have to get put back together again. I will assemble the kingdoms, the chiefdoms, the tribes. Tribe up, vibe up, vibrate up. Feel the vibration, hear the sound, hear the shofar. I will assemble the kingdoms to pour upon them my indignations, even all my fierce anger for all the earth shall be devoured with the fire of my jealousy. So in this case, the Most High is saying, all of their fake ass kingdoms will be destroyed so that he will assemble the remnant, assemble the kingdoms. For then I will turn to the people of pure language. Hawa. You don't hear them saying that. You don't hear them. You never heard a hijack say that. You never heard a hijack coming to you say, hey man, Hawa. It's a whole nother frequency, and they better be careful in it. I'm not saying a hijack has a try. <laughs> I'm saying they better be careful with it. All right, that's not a frequency that they come to teach you in. That's not a frequency that they come to bring you peace. A secure breath is not what they come to bring you. For then I will turn to the people of pure language frequency that they may call upon the name Hawa to serve him with one consent. From beyond the rivers of Cush, my, my, suppliants, my suppliants, even the daughter of my disperse, shall bring my offering. And that day shall you not be ashamed for all your doings. No more shame, people. No more feeling ashamed. In that day shall you not be ashamed for all your doings wherein you have transgressed against me. For then I will take away out the midst of you them that rejoice in your pride, and you shall no more be haughty because of my holy mouth. So I will take away out of your midst, out the midst of you, them that rejoice in your pride. And you shall no more be haughty because of my holy mountain. I will also leave in the midst of you an afflicted and poor people, and they shall trust in the name of Hawa, the remnant. So these people are afflicted and poor, afflicted and poor, and they trust in Hawa. In the name of Hawa, the remnant of Israel shall not do iniquity nor speak lies. You are the remnant and you shall not transgress the vibration or speak lies to deceive our people. Neither shall a deceitful tongue be found in their mouth, for they shall feed and lie down and none shall make them afraid. No more fear. No one will make you afraid again. Sing, O daughter of Zion, shout, Israel, Hawa Israel, be glad and rejoice with all her heart, O daughter of Hararushalem, Hararushalem. Hawa has taken away your judgment. It's over, man. It's redemption season, man. Vibrate, activate. No more judgment on you. Just a high frequency, a high love frequency. Hawa has taken away your judgment. He has cast out your iniquity. The king of Israel, even Hawa, is in the midst of you. You shall not see evil anymore. In that day it shall be said to Yerushalayim, Fear you not, and to Sion, let not your hands be slack. Hawa, in the midst of you, is mighty. He will save, he will rejoice over you with joy. He will rest in his love. Aha. He will joy over you with singing. I will gather them that are sorrowful for the Salam, Salam assembly who are of you to whom the reproach of it was a burden. Behold, at that time I will undo, I will undo, I will undo all that afflicts you. And I will save her that limps and gather her that was driven out. I will get them praise and fame in every land where they have been put to shame. I will get them praise and I will get them fame in the land where they have been put to shame. Oh, wow. And that time 
will I bring you again, even in the time that I gather you. For I will make you a name and a praise among all people. I will make the Negro a name. What? Negro got a land back? Negro gonna get a name and a land back? Oh, the poor Negro. You ain't had a land in so long. You've been the largest people with no land. And you couldn't even see that you were being, you know what I'm saying, invaded and cursed, man. You fell asleep and you thought you were them. You took on their gods. They called Jesus, you called Jesus. They call this, you call that. You did it to survive and now you do it to survive. You still do it to survive. Inside of you, you are afraid to break away from that which has been, you know, brought into you, brought into your land, Hijack 101. You have to push the hijack out. You have to remove yourself from the hijack. You have to gather yourself and get your staff, get your walking stick, and start to see what the Creator has laid out for you. And that time will I bring you again, even in the time that I gather you. For I will make you a name and a praise. I will make you a name, a frequency, and a praise. I will make you a name and a praise among all people on the earth, man. When I turn back your captivity before your eyes. When I turn back your captivity. When I take away your judgment. When I free you. Because you freed yourself consciously. You return to me, I return to you. I will remember my covenant with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. With David, I will remember. Turn to me, I turn to you. When I turn back your captivity before your eyes, says Allah, when I take it away. Let's get some of this, man. This is the Sefer of the Prophet Haggai. It's only two chapters, man. Let's just get it quickly. I, you know, a lot of people haven't heard of this. At first I was like, Haggai, you talking about Hagar, you know what I mean? But nah, Haggai, man, let's get it. In the second year of Dar Yavesh, the king, in the sixth month, in the first day of the month, came the word of Hawa to Haggai, 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 the prophet of Zerubbabel, the son of Sheatiel, governor of Hawauda, governor of Judah. All right, so we're talking Judah. And to El Yahusha. All right, so they're calling Yahusha. What Joshua? What Joshua? It's another Joshua. The son of Yahu Sadak. Yahu Sadak. Sadak. All right. So this is Joshua. This is Haggai, Prophet Haggai. All right. The high priest saying, Thus speaks Hawa, saying, This people say, The time is not come, the time that Hawa's house shall be built. Then came the word of Hawa by Haggai the prophet, saying, It is time for you, O ye, to dwell in your sealed, sealed houses, and this house lies waste. Now therefore, thus says Hawa, Consider your ways, you have sown much and bring in little. Ye eat, but ye have no food, not enough. Ye drink, but ye are not filled with drink. You clothe, you clothe you, but there is none warm. You don't got no warm clothes, man. You ain't got no garments, man. Where's your garments, Negro? But there is none warm. And he that earns wages, earns wages to put it into a bag with holes. This is the prophet Haggai. Haggai. <laughs> Haggai. And he's telling you that no matter how much money you make, it goes away. You get taxed and it falls into holes. This is a prophet talking to you, Negro, about what's happening to you today and your money. And he that earns wages, you got your check, right? He who earns wages, earns wages to put it into a bag with holes. Who are you paying taxes to? The queen? Thus says Hawa, consider your ways. Go up to the mountain, Hawa, and bring wood and build the house. And I will take pleasure in it, and I will be glorified. Says Hawa, you looked for much, and lo, it came to little. You looked for much, but it came to little, man. You looked for much, and it came to little. And when you brought it home, I did blow upon it. Why, says Hawa? Because of my house, that is waste. I blew down your house because you blew down mine. 
because of my house that is waste, and you run every man into his own house. Therefore, the heavens over you are stayed with dew, and the earth is stayed from her fruit. And I call for a drought upon the land, and upon the mountains, and upon the grain, and upon the new wine, and upon the oil, and upon that which the ground brings forth, and upon men, and upon cattle, and upon all the labors of the, of, of the hands. Then Zerubbabel, then Zerub, Zer, the son of Sheel, Al, Al Teyel, and Yahusha, the son of Yahu Tasadak, Yahut Sadak, Sodak. Zadok, the high priest, with all the remnant of the people, obeyed the voice of Hawa. All right, so this is not the New Testament. All right, we're talking Yahusha, the son of Zodak, Zadok. All right, <laughs> and this is the Sephir. So the New Testament doesn't start till this is still Maccabees. All right, here we got Mark. All right, we got Matthew. So here's the New Testament right here. Right. Got that? Got that? That's the New Testament. Huh? This is all, <laughs> all your writings. And this is what they hijacked and gave you. When you talk about the Pisos, the Arius Pisos, and the Flavius, and all that. This came to you. They brought this part to you. They brought this to you. The hijack is real. Oh man, I lost my place. it is to find <laughs> the Sephir and Haggai is only one page this is th like, oh, thousands of pages man so a wow wow man all right let's go all right man so I call for the mountains a drought for the, upon the land and upon the mountains and upon the grain upon the new wine and the oil and that which the ground brings forth and upon the men the cattle then the son of Zerubbabel all right. With all the remnant of the people obeyed the voice of Hawa and the words of Haggai the prophet as Hawa had sent him. And the people did fear Hawa, then spoke Haggai, Hawa's messenger, and Hawa's message unto the people, saying, I am with you, says Hawa. And Hawa stirred up the Ruach of Zerubbabel the son of she al Altiel, governor of Judah, and the Ruach of Yahusha, the son of Yahuzadak, the high priest, the Ruach of all the remnant of the people, and they came and did work in the house of Hawa, their Elohim, their creator, in the four and twentieth day of the sixth month, in the second year of Dar Yavesh, the king, in the second month, in the one and twentieth day of the month came the word of Hawa by the prophet Haggai, saying, Speak now to Zerubbabel, the son of Shealtiel, governor of Judah, and to El Yahusha, the son of Yahud Sadak, the high priest, and to the remnant of the people, saying, Who is left among you that saw this house in her first glory? Who saw this house when it was, you know, fresh, you know what I'm saying, when it was full of glory? before the hijack, which one of you is a witness to this hijack free frequency? Who has seen this house in her first glory? And how do you see it now? Is it not in your eyes in comparison of it as nothing? Yet now be strong, O Zerubbabel, says Hawa, and be strong, O Yahusha, son of Yahuzadek the high priest and be strong and all you people of the land saying Hawa and work says Hawa and work for I am with you says Hawa according to the word I am covenanted I am covenanted with you I got a covenant with you with you 
that came out of Mitzrayim. So my Ruach remains among you. Among you, the Ruach of the Creator remains. Among you, the Ruach of the Creator remains forever. Among you, the seed, original man, original man, right here, the old world. Copper color race is found here where they always been. Original man, original seed, the Ruach of that which created you remains with you forever, no matter who invades you, no matter who steals your land, no matter who rapes, murders, and pillages, and takes everything away from you, and treats you like you're nothing, and call you ad adjectives, and tell you you came from another land, so they can steal your gold and your things, your kingdom and principality, your energy, all movable and immovable goods, we're going to take it all, put them in ghettos, which is just pretty much a place where Hebrews hang, all right? <laughs> put them in places where Hebrews hang, let's get it. The Ruach remains among you, fear you not, for this says Hawa. Yet once it is a little while, and I will shake the heavens and the earth and the sea and the dry land, and I will shake all nations and desire, and the desire of all nations shall come, and I will fill this house with glory, says Hawa. The silver is mine, the gold is mine says Hawa, the glory of this latter house shall be greater than the former. So even if you saw the glory back then, it's nothing compared to what's gonna happen now. Even if you remember your migration and exodus then, it's nothing compared to this exodus now. The energy frequency is another octave up. You're in a whole nother octave. You're in a whole nother frequency. The silver is mine, the gold is mine by law. glory of this latter house, the glory of what you're about to see, so-called Negro, my people, my remnant, the glory of this house shall be greater than the former, says Hawa, in this place I will give peace, says Hawa, and in the fourth and twentieth day of the ninth month, in the second year of Dar Yavesh, came the word of Hawa by Haggai the prophet, saying, thus says Hawa, and now the priest concerning the Torah, saying, if one bear holy flesh in the skirt of his garment, and with the skirt do touch bread or pot, pottage or wine or oil or any meat, shall it be holy? And the priest answered and said, No. Then said Haggai, If one that is unclean by a dead body touch any of these, shall it be unclean? And the priest answered and said, It shall be unclean. Thus answered Haggai, and so, and said, So is this people, and so is this nation before me says Hawa, unclean, unclean, you got to get fresh, you got to go to your mountains, your trees, you got to get suited up, get your garments back, then answered Haggai, and so is this people, so is this nation before me, says Hawa, and so is every work of their hands, that which they offer there is unclean, and now I pray you consider from this day an upward, from before a stone was laid upon a stone in the temple of Hawa, from before a stone was laid upon a stone in the temple of Hawa, since those days were when one came to heap with twenty measures, there were but ten when one came the press fat, press fat for the draw out of fifty vessels out of out of the press, there were but twenty. I smote you with blasting and with mildew and with hail and the labors of your hands. Ye, yet ye turn not to me, says Hawa. Consider now from this day and upward, from the four and twentieth day of the month, ninth month, even from the day of the foundation of Hawa's temple was laid, consider it. Is the seed yet in the barn? Is the seed yet in the barn? Is the seed yet in the barn? Yea, as yet the vine and the fig tree and the pomegranate and the olive tree has not brought forth from this day will I bless you. And the word of Hawa came unto Haggai in the fourth and twentieth day of the month, saying, Speak to Zerubbabel, governor of Judah, saying, I will shake the heavens and the earth, and I will overthrow the, 
throne of kingdoms and I will destroy the strength of the kingdoms of the heathen and I will overthrow the chariots and those that ride in them and the horses and the riders shall come down everyone by the sword of his brother and that day says Hawa will I take you O Zerubbabel my servant the son of Shil'atayel yet says Hawa and will make you as a signet as a sign for I have chosen you, says Hawa. For I have chosen you as a sign, sign, tau, cross. You are the sign. Hawa has chosen you as the sign, for the sign, for the same reason, man. We are the sign, we are the mark collectively. We remove the barriers, we remove the hijacks, and Hawa remembers us. I love y'all, Shabbat Shalom. Bring in the peace. Cut this day off and vibrate up above the barrier. Stay up, suit up, choose up. Much a hop to y'all, man. Check out the side and vibrate. Ha ha, ha ha, ha. Drop nation.